Okay, um, I'd like to talk about another type of possible um, nuclear type reactor and that may be off in the future. Um, and that's, could we possibly do something like what happens on the sun? Where two small hydrogens fuse together to make helium and it gives off a tremendous amount of energy. So here's what I'm talking about. Here's a hydrogen atom with uh, one proton and one neutron. We call that deuterium because it weighs two. Here's a hydrogen atom with one proton and two neutrons. We call that tritium because it weighs three. If we could somehow squeeze off the space as we, those two things come together, squeeze out all the space and get their two nuclei to touch, which is hard to do because it's like two magnets trying to come together, but if I can make them touch, it releases a tremendous amount of energy. One neutron would come shooting off, which is not radioactive, and I would make helium which is totally not radioactive. So that would be a great source of energy. It would give off a tremendous amount of energy like on the sun. But there's a couple of problems with that. One is I have to have a tremendous amount of energy in order to get these to fuse together. So one, problem, one way we do that currently is in a thermonuclear hydrogen bomb where we set off an atomic bomb to give us enough energy for that to happen. We don't want to do that because that's not a good way uh, to have safe energy. Um, but it takes a tremendous amount of energy. If we could do it, let's say, at room temperature, they call that cold fusion. Um, and uh, there's been some talk about whether that's possible or not. Um, I, in order to get them together, I think it's going to take a tremendous amount of energy to do that. Uh, so I don't think cold fusion is probably any time soon going to happen. But if we could get enough energy to fuse these together, the good news is, even though that would take a tremendous amount of energy, it gives off even more energy. So we could keep fusing hydrogen and keep making more and more energy. And that would solve all of our energy needs forever if we could figure out how to do this. Another issue is if I could get this to happen, it gives off so much energy that I can't build a regular containment uh, building to hold it. So there's been some different ideas about how could this possibly be done. One way is to use what's called a tech tokamak um, reactor. And the idea there is to use a bunch of magnets and make a magnetic field. So the, the plasma energy would just stay inside of that magnetic field. So you're not really, it's not getting too close to an actual material, but it's being held in a magnetic field. That's one way that we might possibly be able to contain it. We've actually tried to build some reactors this way. Um, the Joint European Taurus, or the JET, uh, is one device that we've used to do uh, fusion reaction here on Earth. Uh, this is the view of the of the chamber inside. Um, we back in 1997 were able to get 16 million watts of energy, 16 megawatts, to last for one second. <laughs> so the idea is, uh, so far we are trying just to break even. Can we get as much energy out as we put in? We got fusion to occur here. Um, it wasn't break even yet, but the idea is to keep working on it. Here's another picture of the jet facility. Now here's a man standing inside of the Takamek. Um, you can see the, the tremendous size of it. Um, but again, we got uh, a bunch of energy, but for just one second, and it still wasn't break even. So uh, we keep experimenting. Another group got together, and it's called the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, or ITER. And in France, this is seven nations, the U.S., some European nations, South Korea, India. And they're working together to try to, try, try to build a reactor um, that can, be, can get more energy out than was put in and try to do it for a longer period of time. So this was a tremendously, you know, billions of dollars go into this. And again, we're not trying to, to build a power plant yet that's going to stay online and keep producing a ton of energy. We haven't figured that out yet. We're just trying to get proof of concept here. Um, but we think in the end, if we can figure out how to do this, by small steps along the way, we could have clean, uh, affordable energy forever. So here's what Eider looks like uh, in that southern part of France, the, the building. Um, they started it um, several years ago. It's a 30-year plan. They're hoping in the next so many years, maybe by 20. 20 or so to kind of have it come online. And it's designed to have 50 megawatts of energy to go in. Now remember, 
A regular power plant is somewhere between uh, one gigawatt of energy, plus or minus. So the idea here would be able to get half a gigawatt or 500 megawatts of energy out. Um, by putting just 50 million in, we get 500 million out. So we get a 10 time increase in energy. And the end goal is to have this happen for a total of 1,000 seconds. Uh, so not very long, but it's a proof of concept. We're testing different types of fusion. Can we get it to work? Um, so this is one idea, um, and we're getting closer to it. Another way, in order to give enough energy to spark it and to get it going, um, there's another way that we've taken and we've put the hydrogen together, and if we can fuse it. So let me show you. Um, a small amount of hydrogen, and this is a fuel cell, if you will, full of deuterium and tritium. And the idea is to give us a, a lot of energy and get fusion to occur. Uh, if you take, see this tiny little BB size container full of deuterium and tritium? If we can give that enough energy for fusion to occur, if we burned three of these every second, three little things of hydrogen, that would give us a one gigawatt power plant. So it's a tremendous amount of energy we get from just such a small amount of hydrogen. Here's another way we've looked at how to give this enough energy to get it to uh, fuse. So one idea is to use a whole bunch of lasers and focus lasers on this. And if you get enough lasers and enough energy focused right there, it might get hot enough to cause fusion to occur. So the little tiny reactor you can see it held up to somebody's eye. It holds that little BB. Uh, it's for the, the NIF reactor. Uh, the was a national uh, ignition facility, I think it's what it's called. This little thing is called a Holoron, which is German for little room. And the idea is to focus all the laser energy into the edges of it, coming in from two different angles, and focus all that laser energy onto that little tiny BB of, of uh, hydrogen and cause the fusion to occur. This is what it looks like in, in real life with its wires and such. So let me show you the, the NIF facility in uh, Livermore, California, one of the national labs. Uh, this is the outside of the building. And what you have here inside of this big gymnasium, each of these tubes is a very powerful laser. And it's one of those deals, we turn up the energy in Livermore, California when we're going to fire it up, and they fire it up and all of these lasers focused all at once. So you can imagine, I don't know if this happened, but like the lights dim in the city as we use all this energy to try to get fusion to occur. Um, inside of the target, uh, this is the inside of it. We put that little tiny NIF thing in here, and this is all the laser beams that'll be coming into it. Um, and then this is somebody climbing around on the inside of this of the target chamber. So it's a lot of engineering. Unfortunately, when we fired it up back in 2012, uh, 2011, 2012, we fired it up and we tried it, and it almost worked. We had the engineering to get all those lasers focused just right. We only got about one-tenth of the energy out that we, we thought. So what you really need to do at that point is just systematically uh, change things to get it to work. But my personal opinion was there was money on the line, um, a big government grant. People wanted it politically. They wanted it done quickly and have it work. So they started just doing changing too many things at once and trying it, and they never got it to work. Um, at most, we got up to about one-third of the energy output that we were hoping for, and we didn't get it to work. Um, so unfortunately, they shut this down, um, and it's no longer uh, in operation. But the idea would be, could we use lasers to get that fusion to occur? Hopefully, IDER will be up and running soon, and we'll see how that works. But the idea is, how can we squeeze out all the space and get those hydrogen atoms to fuse? If we could, we would have energy that is perfectly clean. We would make helium. We can put in balloons. Um, and it would just be um, no global warming gases, no carbon dioxide. We could quit burning fossil fuels. And we would just have perfectly pure, clean, good energy uh, all the energy you would ever want because you get more energy out than you put in. So this is the goal. We're working at it part by part, um, and hopefully we can figure this out in the next couple of decades, um, and it would be a great way for us to, to fix all of our energy needs and our energy problems. Okay, well, that's it for fusion reactors. They don't exist yet, 
but the idea is a tokamak magnetic chamber would be a good way to store it. And we've used some different ways to try to generate enough energy uh, to cause the fusion to occur. All right, until next time, thanks.